This is a very important package to open today. But before I get to this, I have an important update. Uh, I received a message from the customer regarding the display with the H tubes. It will get postponed and the problem is that the building it will be installed at uh, will go through a reconstruction at the beginning of the next year and because of the COVID they had to postpone all the shows that will take place at this building so uh, unfortunately that particular one where will be the panel with the 121 Nixie tubes we are working at will not make it until end of the year so the reconstruction will start uh, earlier and the window for our show will be moved to summer 2023 so this is a significant change instead of october uh, we will install it at the summer 2023 so it's instead of six weeks we have to make it in three years uh, so i'm thinking how to do this how to uh, because I, I i want to show you the final installation the final project uh, i don't want to let you wait for three years before it gets to the final place uh, so i spoke to the customer and maybe we will make some temporary installation uh, without you know the final animation without explaining the context of the artwork uh, just to show you the whole panel of the Nixie tubes. Uh, so definitely I want to make it until end of the year. Uh, of course, it's, a, it's disappointing for everyone, but it will give me more time to think about details and uh, do the whole project uh, better. Okay, so let's go to the package. A small spoiler, the package contains all the etched parts and among them there are the digits. From all the work we will do on this project, the digits will be the only thing that will be visible to the visitors. Uh, so we wanted to take extra care and um, make them a little bit special while still keeping the specification from the customer. Historically, the Nixie tubes were just the practical way how to display digital data. So the only function they had to have was to clearly display the digits. To make them as easy as possible for the manufacturer and as less likely to fail as possible, the manufacturers used just uh, plain lines for the symbols. Uh, so, for this reason, when you look at the Nixie tubes, they all look more or less the same. Uh, the, the digits have practically the same font. And when we were thinking about the font, we wanted to make it a little bit special. We wanted to make it different from, from all the Nixie tubes that were here in the past. The specification from the customer was that the font used inside the Nixie tube must resemble era of 1940s. So my first idea was to use a typewriter from 1938 that I have in the in the office and uh, just type the numbers and scan them and uh, transform them into the digits and I just wanted to use a contours but it turned out that it's very difficult to turn them into anything usable because uh, they simply lack some level of detail they are too too rough for use into something so large as, as the H tube. At the same time I was contacted by Tomáš Miller he has been following our Nixie tube resurrection journey for a couple of years and he just saw in my YouTube video that I'm searching for a way how to make the digits and he offered his help. He is a freelance graphic designer. I realized how helpful it is when the other person uh, you're talking to knows the details about the Nixie tubes, how it works and how it is structured inside. And so it was quite easy communication, just few sketches and few emails and uh, he was capable of turning the ideas uh, into a real font, like a new font for new Nixie tube. It's just the first version of this font, so we might, we still might need to do some changes to the design, but uh, I think the changes will be just 
minor ones because it, it's already very well designed. Uh, it resembles the era of 1940s and it very well fills the, the space inside the Nixie tube. So it's a little bit more wide than tall. Uh, it's, it, it, it uses the space very well. Thank you. 